Terry Conrad here at Terry Conrad on Twitter and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about an article that was shared with me by Matthew Ferreira uh, on Twitter this morning. He posted a great article that was talking about how the new Google algorithms are actually changing the way that we share and affecting how you rank in your um, if you're looking for SEO opportunity here which is search engine optimization and being found in Google searches and, and increasing your Google juice what we've learned is is that the new algorithms are allowing for more um, social engagement that's what they're measuring more of it it really made me happy to read that because I believe that that's a more powerful more authentic measurement of what matters so that, I mean, don't get me wrong, and I don't fully understand SEO, of course, um, but really not spending all of your time, you know, making sure that you have like all the right keywords and, and just, you know, tweaking your, your content so that you're more keyword conscious. I, I'm always telling people, please just focus on the message, be more genuine. So I have three things that I wanted to talk about um, on Twitter. These are three Twitter tips, and I chose Twitter because that's my favorite platform, but a lot of these will, will like the, the idea is true across the board. So the first one is, um, I wanted to point out that following someone is not the same thing as connecting. There's a fundamental difference, and a lot of people I'm noticing are going around and following people uh, you know, just sort of willy-nilly and, and assuming that if, if, if you followed me that I should be thrilled and I'll follow you back and I'm, I'm not sure what people think that that's going to mean or, or lead to. My advice is connect with them, you know, um, make sure that you reach out and say hi and say thank you for following or um, I hope that you'll follow me. Here's here's why I took an interest in you and and let's connect, you know, like show them that you've taken an interest, a genuine interest and they're more likely to want to engage. The second thing I wanted to say is please don't put in your um, Twitter bio, please follow me. Uh, it's it's somewhat pathetic, actually. It just suggests that you know you're really desperate for followers, which says to me you don't understand the whole point of of being there in the first place. It you want to connect with people who take again a genuine interest in who you are, and why don't you do that by inspiring them? So instead, put something in your bio that says something great about you and why why I would want to get to know you. Um, you know, some something about your personality, something that you love, anything that just you know tweaks my. Um, my interest is going to be something that I'd rather read in your bio and I'm more likely to go and find out more about you that way. The third thing I wanted to say is um, don't, please don't um, auto your, your direct messaging. So someone follows you and they immediately get an auto DM that says, you know, thanks for following. You might want to follow me over here on my Facebook page. You know, it's, it's so inauthentic. It doesn't inspire me to want to engage. It. Um, I know we think that it's being polite by making sure that every person is getting a response, but it's not you. It's a machine. So really it loses its whole whole purpose. So my advice is either you know try to connect with them genuinely or just, just leave and see if they reach out again. So those are three things that I wanted to just share with you um, that I've learned this week. And I really hope that you will um, keep in touch with me and continue to give us our feedback on our raw videos here. Thanks so much for t uh, tuning in today and have a great day. Bye.